Hey what's up awesome people, welcome to this another video by Useful AI. In this video, I'm gonna show you on how to create a digital planner that you can sell through Etsy and earn some money. So make sure to watch this tutorial until the very end. And if you don't know what is Etsy, Etsy is an e-commerce platform that specializes in the sale of handmade vintage and unique items. It was founded in 2005 and has since grown into a popular online marketplace where independent artists, craftsmen, and vintage collectors can sell their creations and products directly to customers worldwide. On Etsy, you can find a wide range of items, including handmade jewelry, clothing, art, home decor, crafts, vintage clothing and accessories, and much more. The platform provides a space for small businesses and individual sellers to showcase their creativity and connect with a global audience. Etsy has a strong community aspect, allowing buyers to communicate direct directly with sellers, ask questions, request custom orders, and other personalized items to suit their preferences. It has become go-to destination for people looking for unique and one-of-a-kind items that may not be readily available on mainstream e-commerce website. So if you are into selling off your digital stuff, so Etsy is the best place for you. As you can see, you can go directly to the search bar and look for digital planner. And when you search on that, you will see this lot of items. And as you can see right here, you will have this 500,000 results. And you can view all of this posted digital planner right here and the ratings and amount under it. So look at to the sort by and click on it and you can actually tap on top customer reviews and as you can see right here you can have all of this which is like this one is 973 this one is thousand this one is thousand and you can have an idea what is the best selling digital planner design that you can make so in order to make a digital planner in from the scratch you can actually go to canva.com so here in canva it says that what will you design today so you can actually just search for digital planner and when you click on this you will have a actual template for digital planner so when you click on there you will have this bunch of designs so you can click actually one of this so now i will select this template so right here, it says that Beige Modern Daily Planner by Magot STD. You can just actually click on customize this template. And this is the part that you need to create your digital planner. Of course, you cannot actually just select a template and sell it later on. That's why we are here on editing to personalize our digital planner and make our own design. Of course, we want to create our own digital planner. So in order to do that, you can just make a a little bit change to this template so right now you can just start by changing the font style so by clicking it all and select your desired font style so it is has a minimal change at all so the second thing that you can do is uh, as you can see right here it is has a healthy and fitness breakfast lunch dinner my goal today must do appointments schedule and schedule inspiration so you can actually get rid of something like i'm doing this one right here in the middle to focus the must do and when you're done with that you can also change the color of this template for you to have your own design select all and change its color right here so i will select like this color so yeah it has a different different changes after you change all the colors of your template you can also add an element to your design or your digital planner by clicking on the elements and look for the design that you want to add to your planner so after that just you can resize the element or less the lesser lessen the opacity 
and change the layering of the design. So let's say for example that you already done making your digital planner and you already save it. So the thing that you want to do right now is to make a actual thumbnail for your actual planner. So all you need to do is come back to your Canva and search for digital planner thumbnails or go to here, go right here and edit the custom size. So the size of thumbnail on Etsy is 570 by 456 pixel. So all you need to do is come back to Canva and edit the size of it. So that create new design. So when you are right here, you just now need to create a thumbnail. And right now, all you want to do is to make or create a thumbnail for your digital planner. As you can see right here, all of it has a eye-catchy thumbnails that attracts possible buyers or clients. So thumbnails are often the first thing potential buyers see when browsing through listings. A visual appealing and well-designed thumbnail can capture a buyer's attention and entice them to click on the listing and learn more. So thumbnails play a vital role in attracting potential buyer, conveying important information about the product, and ultimately influencing purchasing decisions on Etsy. Sellers should invest time and effort into creating visual appealing and informative thumbnails to maximize their chance of success on the platform. And let's say for example that you're gonna move forward on creating your thumbnails and you already done on it and you, you save already, just go back to Etsy. Now if you want to start selling here on Etsy, of course you need to have an account here. So if you already have an account here on Etsy, you may click this shop manager right here and you need to finish all of this information shop preferences name your shop stock your shop how you'll get paid setup billing your shop security just fill it all here and you can now sell here in etsy and i will fill it out real quick and right now you need to create or name your shop after that, save and continue and right here. So here in Etsy, when you click on shop manager, you will also need to create your first listing. So here, yes, you can see, create a listing, add some photos and details about your item, fill out. You can for now or you'll be able to edit this later. So right now you can just upload some photos, some videos. In listing details, you need to put a title, which is, of course, the digital planner about the listing. You did it or someone did it and a finished product or a supply or tool to make things and a year that this item is made. So in category, put the word description of your item. So it will be easy to find by the shoppers. So right now, you need to select the primary color, secondary color, you can leave it there. And here, right down here, the renewal options if you want it automatic or manual. So the listing will renew as it expires for 0.2 USD each time. So here in physical, a tangible item that you will ship to buyers or digital, a digital file that buyers will download. So if you are selling digital stuff, you probably select on this one. So right now, if you go down in inventory and pricing, you can edit the price of your item. So the thing is, you need to put an item at least minimum up to mix maximum price of it. So right now, the quantity, you can add or edit the quantity right here. And the next thing you need to do is to upload the file that you are selling. So buyers can download this file as soon as they complete their purchase. So if they already purchased your item, they will download it right away. So right now, you can actually just hit save and continue. Now once you've done creating your listing and you already set up how you'll get paid and billing, you can now proceed on publishing your item. So now you need to keep on your mind that you'll get charged of two cents per listing that you will publish for 
three months. So all you need to do is to optimize your item to get a sale. It is not hard to sell here on Etsy. You just need to have a right product to sell and a right audience to view. Yeah, for more like of this kind of tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.